Well, we thought today for the first time we would take a viewer question that was sent to us by Carl and Jean Cook, who watch us every week from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And they write, Many of us planted an alternative crop to rotate. What are some basic feed mixtures with wheat and grain sorghum? For example, how much soy soybean meal to mix with sorghum for a fattening ration after coming off wheat pasture? Well, to help us answer that is Dave Lawman. Dave, uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Clinton. What do, you, what do you think about this question? Well, it's actually a common question. We have a lot of people in Oklahoma that you know, plant milo, especially in a, if they think it's going to be a, a drought year mm -hmm. rather than corn. And so we have a lot of people that like to use grain sorghum or milo in their rations. Yeah. And how effective is it? Well, in general, milo is about 10 to 15 percent lower in feed value than corn grain. The, probably one of the most important points about milo is that it has to be processed, ground or rolled, crimped if you will, mm -hmm. for it to be digestible to the cattle. That's, that's key. Uh, and even though it is ground or rolled, it still has 10 to 15 percent lower feed value than corn. Okay. If it's not processed, it's going to have 25 or 30 percent lower feed value. So you're going to have to feed a little more of it? If you're going to get the same performance of corn, yes. Process it and then maybe just feed a little bit more. Okay. What kind of uh, mixture are we looking at? How, how would you go about putting a ration together? Well, if we're talking about uh, calves coming off wheat, like he mentions in the question there, uh, just something as simple as, uh, you know, you probably wouldn't want to go more than 50% of the grain portion of the ration as wheat because wheat's rapidly and highly digestible. Sure. So it can be a little bit dangerous. So then the other half of the grain portion could be rolled or ground milo. Mm -hmm. And then you'd want to put in 7-8% seven, seven, of the grain portion as uh, soybean meal, like he mentions, as the protein source. So about 7-8%. And then with any finishing ration, you're going to need to have adequate roughage. So, so we've just put together the grain portion. Now we need another, say, 10 to 20% of the diet as you know, something like cottonseed holes or peanut holes, okay. uh, long stemmed hay, just a good scratch source, fiber source like that. Okay. Also need to, you know, you'd need to include a little bit of additional calcium and probably vitamin A. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully this answers that question. If you have a question, be sure and send it to us online. You can find that uh, link on our website at sunup.okstate.edu. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. You bet.